Okay, for your leg adjustments, you have a couple different ways to go here. So you can see this is graduated somewhat. Shut up. You know, if you're kind of new to this photography thing like I am, there's a lot of stuff you realize you don't know. But one of the first things you figure out, <clears throat> pardon me, is that you're going to need a tripod. Particularly if you spend a lot of money on your camera. Now, this is an entry level camera, but even at entry level, you're talking five, six, seven hundred bucks, right? I went online and started looking at different options and looked around and um, found a nice middle ground, I think, at least for the money. And that's with this Mactrum Biscayne. But for about $80, I ended up with a pretty decent, I think, pretty decent tripod for the money and for what I'm doing. Now, caveat to this, I don't know how well this would do if you are using the really large zoom lenses, you know, great big mega zoom lenses, which you can count the fibers on a feather on a bird. For what I need, it, it's going to be fine. It also converts into a monopod, which is really, really nice because when you're walking around out in the woods and you're doing wildlife photography, it's kind of a pain in the neck to carry a complete tripod. So let me get in a little bit closer and we can show you some of the features of it. Okay, let's just get into some of the details about this. I'm going to kind of go by the spec sheet because I can't remember all this. But you're looking at about 19 centimeters long when it's folded. Your height is up to, you know, this height here is 34.6. The maximum height is 80.3 inches. You've got four section aluminum legs. Um, it says it can carry a load of up to 33 pounds. I don't know if I'd put 33 pounds on this just because it's tippy, and I'm not sure if they're talking about on the ball or on the ballast hook down at the bottom. Universal mounting screw, quarter inch. And it weighs 3.28 pounds. Now, so it's a little bit heavy um, if you're going to try to take in the woods backpacking. So a couple of things here. So we've got this plate, which is really interesting. It's a positive locking plate. I'm going to turn this so you can see it. Right. So this plate, of course, swivels down so that you can do your vertical shots. But it's got these two little Allen nuts here, which seat and help keep your camera from falling. So it's a really nice positive lock on there. And again, he, there's your adjustment knob for, for your ball, so that keeps the swivel. And then if you want to turn it, you just loosen this nut here, or you can also use this one also. I'm not sure why there's two of them. To be honest with you, I think this one's just a safety. It doesn't describe it in the instructions, and that's the one thing. Um, the instructions aren't super specific on any of this stuff. So that was a little bit frustrating, but I figured it out. It's not a big deal. To adjust it, you just loosen these screws here, pull it up. And that one there, and that gets your, your height on the center bar. Okay, so to adjust your legs, either in or out, you pull this little, these little tabs forward, get it to the angle that you want, lock it in. It's actually really simple to adjust. All right, so you can widen it out like that or you can keep it somewhat narrow. Like that. Just unsnap to raise and lower your legs, just Unsnap the little clips on the side here. And now you're where you want to be. If you want to adjust it to make it level, just loosen whatever clip happens to be off of center and just up and down until you get that center point. And clip it back into place. And if you want to get it up a little bit higher, just loosen this bottom screw, pull it up, and voila. And one of the things too, and I'll show a little test footage of this, it has a really smooth um, swivel. It has a really nice pivot to it. So when you're 
shooting and you're turning like this, it's actually very, very smooth. So that's something I really, really like. It took me a little while to get used to having, you know, the ball to where you're moving around with the camera. But once you get used to it, it works very, very well for the price. As you can see, it has some really, really nice, nice and smooth, not jumpy motion. Okay, one of the things I discovered by accident, and it's something that you need to know before you decide on purchasing this particular item, is that if you're using the tripod in this configuration, I was doing this shooting some moonscapes the other night when I realized that this was going to be a, could be a pretty big issue for people. So if you want to get some extension, we can lower this bottom one, tighten it down. And if you extend the top one to where you need it to be, now once you put the camera on, this becomes very wobbly. I don't know if you can see that from where you are, and I'll bring it up close. And you can see there's a lot of play in those joints, particularly once you put a camera on there. Now, I mitigated it, there's a couple ways, but I mitigated it by using the self-timer on the camera. Um, the other thing you can do is use it in a little bit tighter configuration on the legs. And I didn't take time to level everything up, so this is the ground. Keep this top tube all the way down, and then go about a quarter, quarter of a way, third of a way down with the top tube. And that significantly improves the, the wobble. Um, again, I'm on uneven ground right now. I didn't take the time to put the spikes in. I think with a little ballast, you'll be okay. But that's something that you need to know before you decide on purchasing this product. Okay, one of the other cool things, too, is this will convert into a monopod. Now, the first thing you do is you grab this little collar down here by the ballast hook, and this just unscrews. That piece comes out. Loosen this top nut. Slide the whole piece right out. Then, the one leg that has a handle on it, you just unscrew it. This piece of foam, it's also the one that has the, the name on it, Matrum. And so you've got a little bolt on one side, threaded in on this piece, and you just thread it in. Nice and easy. Now, one thing I will say is that if you're going to use this as kind of a hiking pole, all right, so two things. One, and you can do this on all three legs, is this little rubber cap comes off. And so now you got a nice little pointy area. So if you actually need some more purchase, like in sand or something else. Um, it's not fantastic on rocks. It's not carbide tipped. So it's not like a hiking a trekking pole that has the carbide tip. So you want to be aware of that because it can slide around a little bit on you. But the other thing I found too is that when you use it as a hiking stick, only extend the top two of the pole. Don't extend the last one. I found that this really feels kind of uh, weak in that, you know, to try to use it for any type of stabilization while you're walking. So you just slide it in there and that's these pieces here are plenty strong enough and it also will give you plenty of you know grip for a walking stick so the question is do i recommend you purchasing this well i could recommend purchasing it i mean for the cost and depending on what you're going to do with it absolutely if you're getting serious about the photography and you know you need rock solid no it's, it's not rock solid not by any stretch of the imagination um, it's not as bad as some of the reviews on amazon say it is but i can't give it five stars either i'd give it three and a half to four so if i was getting seriously into photography and you know doing portraits and people and getting paid for it this would be a backup tripod at best so 
make your own determinations i hope you found this helpful if you did look like the video give me a share subscribe all that good stuff you can visit my website i90outdoors.com i would appreciate that sign up for you know every time i put something out there you'll get notified your life will be better i promise you thanks for watching